So I think I think each person is their own person. We shouldn't have a horoscope, but define who we are. You know. Mm. Lay it down, truth. Susie. Drop the mic. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't want to drop. I mean, yeah, it don't drop. Yeah, the mic. that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's on the table. We need that for the rest it. of the podcast. Wait, Susie. I have this question because I read about it online. Were you involved in music, making music? Oh my god! Did you read about me? Yeah, I did. On your famous birthdays, it said that you like made music with DJ Wizard. That's so crazy. I actually hit up. That's one of my friends, and he's a he's a DJ, and um, uh, I'm actually. Oh my god, it's so crazy that you brought this up because I want I want to I want to record a song. Okay. Cuz I think on it genuinely like I'm not even joking. I have a really nice voice. Like even whenever I sing. I I don't want to do it right now, but Can you sing I, us an Armenian folk tune maybe? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, what I want to do is I want to record a song and then I'm going to sit everybody down and you guys can listen to it. Are you an alto, a tenor? I I it's crazy. I'm I'm or an soprano. It's altos I, and sopranos. I'm a, I'm a, I'm in between. Okay. So like I can go like really high like Celine Dion and I can go like super low, but like I can go high more. <laughs> and it's crazy when I was in high school I was actually the president of like the choir as well. What? Really? Which is like yeah, I was like I love music so much. So what kind of music do you want to make? I think like the best way that I can put it is like Miley Cyrus. Like I really love her. Wow. So Miley Cyrus music, and yeah. Celine Dion. Like I know it's like the weirdest two mixes, but like they're beautiful. And Adele, uh-huh. like their voices. Oh my god! Like there's been times like when I went to Celine Dion's concert, I'm not joking. I literally started crying from how beautiful her voice is. Did you see her in Vegas? Yeah, wow. in Vegas at um uh, at Caesar's Palace before it got ca- before like everything went because she had a residency there. Okay. She doesn't have it anymore. Okay. But I, I don't because I don't I don't know what happened, but. I'm telling you, when she's the only person that went to her concert and I literally cried. Wow. Her voice, it's like God came down onto earth, put this beautiful voice, uh-huh. gave it to her, said, Celine Dion is going to have it, and then walked back up to it. <laughs> 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 I don't know, but I'm telling you, her voice. And she, it's crazy. Her concert was three hours long. Right. And she is so funny. She really knows how to perform and she really, really, really knows how to make a crowd go wild. And from from her performance, I can tell she's a genuinely good person. Like it's So you're insane. a big fan of Celine Dion. Hundred percent. I'm a big fan of Celine Dion. Have you been writing songs? I used to write songs. I used to have a journal and I used to write a lot. Like whenever I was like in my feels, like I would make myself get super sad and like write and stuff. Oh. And I haven't done it for a while, but I'm I'm trying to get back. Like I want to like make a single and I want to have a like a listening party where like everyone listens to my song and like nobody knows. That's why when you brought it up, I'm like, oh my God, I want to literally just surprise you guys like being shocked. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm, Let's oh, have a whole release party for that it. Sounds yeah. great. When do you have like a date that that's no, set I'm to not, do this? No, I'm not. I'm I'm just I'm I'm doing it because I'm doing vlogs and I'm gonna do the song. So like I'm just like waiting. Okay. Go ahead. You can ask me your questions. Uh, oh yeah, another later. question. You love pickles? I yeah. Why? I'm just asking. I, I love, love pickles too. <laughs> what's your fa- What's your favorite kind of pickle? <laughs> <laughs> we asked the real questions. These are here. the real questions. I I like. I think I just like regular pickles. I hate sweet pickles. Same. Sweet like, I don't like bread suck. and butter pickles. No. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. They suck. I hate... Like, why does a pickle need to be sweetened? I mean, some right? people like it for a sandwich or... People no. like salty and sweet. Salty is better. Salty and spicy. Oh, sour yes. and spicy. Salty and spicy. Yeah. Oh, I also love... Do you gues like fried pickles? Yes. yes. So I like good. fried pickles when they come in the wedges. Oh, yes. Like, I don't like the I, fried pickle chips. Me too. Because oh my God. when you bite into it, like, the, the, the friedness it, just, it just kind of slips off 100%. really fast. He's right. The fried He's right. pickles, though, like, you can, like, dip them in ranch. Exactly. And, like, just and then just more take out a big it. bite the out of it. The chips are like where they slice and it's like little yes. circles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do or do not like the chips? I do not like the chips. You like a full pickle fried. I like, no, I like not a full <laughs> pickle fried. Like the wedges. Oh. Yeah. So it's it's sliced um, in, in like long yes, wise. Yes. In fourth, yeah. Oh. He just said long wise. Yeah. You mean like, I don't know. Lengthwise, not lengthwise, widthwise. Yeah, lengthwise, exactly. Fried pickles are... Oh my god! They're wow, amazing. I had one. Oh I my god! My mouth is watering. So I know. Have you? Do you like pickle flavored chips? I actually haven't had pickle. Oh Me my god! Neither. Didn't we talk about this? I what think was we, that? Uh, Doritos apparently was supposed to be launching some yeah. pickle flavored Doritos. Yeah, there's I a think place in New York. That. Next time you do go, called the Pickle Guys in Lower East Side, and it's a pickle like a mini pickle factory, and they have like 28 different varieties of pickles, and you can then customize your own little bucket where they'll put like spicy brine mixed with sour brine you can get like oh it's that's the best one to get brooklyn brooklyn (laughs) 
Is that is that your Brooklyn, Brooklyn accent? No, whenever I was in New York, I just like I lied to people and told them I'm from Brooklyn. I told them I'm <laughs> I told them I'm from Dumbo. I'm like I'm from Brooklyn. I rep Brooklyn all day. <laughs> but I'm from California. <laughs> uh, what other accents can you do? Can you do uh, do a British accent? Hello, how are you? Whoa, <laughs> that's easy. Now I have a question for you, Matt. Yeah. So. <laughs> I have I have I have a special from uh my friend uh Jeff. We were talking earlier. He he wanted me to know are, are there a lot of rats in Texas? Oh <laughs> man, <laughs> you see, you see. I knew I, I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. <laughs> You're a traitor, Susie. I'm just I'm dead just faced right now. I'm joking. Oh, of course. I know. It's so funny that Jeff, but I don't even really get the. I mean, I do get the joke because Jeff has just continued Jeff to run with it. Jeff even on me. Come on. Come what, on. What, what does he call you? Uh, nothing. He just, he doesn't really. He, Jeff loves me. Well, hey, it's the year of the rat. Okay. I mean, but so, it's also like it's the your time simplest to joke to make. Matt the rat. Like, yeah, yeah, are yeah, you yeah, in fourth true. grade, Jeff? Like, get, come on. So I have a question. Yeah. You know how you're from Texas, right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't people from Texas have like an accent? Yes, but there's like different regions of Texas, and okay. I think people have different accents from that. But I'm from Dallas, and I think people from Dallas have the most neutral accent. Right. Like it's not very rural, so you're not going to get like the country accent. Okay. So let me ask you another question. Uh -huh. How old were you when you moved to California? I moved here when I was about 22, okay. 23. It was like summer of 2014. Got it. Yeah. That was actually the year I graduated, 2014. Another question that I have for you. Yeah. Because I'm just pretending that this is my podcast now. But <laughs> yeah, I'm no, gonna... I want to give you the experience. Pretend 100%. this is like... Okay, yeah. So you know how in Texas and to all my... Uh, Texans, please don't come at me in the comments. I would truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you. So, I have a question for you. Shoot. So, Whataburger or In-N-Out? Whataburger. Oh, completely. Ew. Ew. I, I mean, I respect In-N-Out, but like Whataburger has a way more... I have to go home. Bye. <laughs> Wait, really? You think In-N-Out is better than Whataburger? I think Whataburger is the most disgusting burger I've had in my life. <laughs> Which burger did you get there? I'm not too sure. You just got the Whataburger? Well, that's what it's called. <laughs> I know, but there's all these different kinds. There's like I the got, Monterey melt, I, the patty melt. I tried melt, a couple the... of different ones. It was not just one that I tried. Okay. It just, it just not good. Did you try the chicken fingers? I think, I'm not, I don't know. Did you try I, I went with David. This Which location did you go to? I, I don't even remember, bro. It was just like. You went in Texas or in California? Texas. Yeah, there's no water in, in California. No, 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 oh, there's only in Texas. Yeah, yeah. I think it's in like the mid. Um... Well, they go up until like New Mexico and then I think it stops. But I imagine. So a place like Whataburger location probably does make a difference. Like the Dallas one may be way better than the Houston one. Or do you think it's all the same? I think it's like the in and outs out here too. No, like all of them are the same. It's a really great staff at Whataburgers usually. It's like a Chick-fil-A. My favorite is Waffle House. That's my favorite. Like No, it's not even the staff. Thing. Waffle House is the well, one best. Waffle House I wouldn't say is a fast food. It's a diner. You, there's no drive through at a Waffle House. It's like house. sitting and saying, I like IHOP. You can like smoke cigarettes in Waffle yeah, Houses. It's so sick. It's so cool. What do you order at the, at the Waffle House? Mike. Uh, I get hash browns with uh, double smothered, double covered, which means with cheese and jalapenos, and then a chocolate chip waffle. Well done. I hate. Chocolate it's a good chip. breakfast spot we, at, at South by Southwest every year. That was like our. We would start the day at a Waffle House. But does In and Out serve breakfast? No, they don't. Listen, Waterburger does. They have amazing out, taquitos. In and Out is <laughs> a simple menu. That's what I like. My life simple because I'm already a sad. My life is already done. Like. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. No. Well, Whataburger all day, and I'll take you back to Texas, and I'll make sure that you get the full um, selection and experience. Okay. What are like some of your favorite bits or like videos with Jason or David or any of your brother? Like, what are the things when you think back or like, oh, I love that. That was my favorite thing. It's crazy. I've never really sat down and thought about it. You know why? Because I feel like every single second that all of us as a group were together, like. I think that's what makes me happy. I don't think it's the bits. I think it's the spending the time together. Like recently, actually, whenever we did the foosball, I'm super competitive. So like after that, like I was just like angry because we lost. And I was like, oh my God, like I got pissed off. But like that was probably one of my favorite bits. Like that was amazing. With David, like with David, anything. 
Like, you don't even know where you're going to end up sometimes. Like, it's, like, the greatest thing. Like, he's very spontaneous. So, mm-hmm. like, I don't think I don't think I really look at it as bits. I think of it as memories. Yes, I'm the same way. It's you not, know? like, the bits themselves. It's, like, the whole experience behind exactly. the camera of getting there yeah. and the whole experience. Exactly. You're like, wow, I can't believe this is happening. It's not what's, yeah. like, happening that the camera's seeing. It's, right. like, yeah. the entire moment within itself. I, I, you know what else it is? It's also, like, the people that you meet as well. For example, like, David Blaine. You know, like, I, like I love that guy. Like, it's just the random things that, like, you... N- things that you never knew that would cross your brain. Like, it happens. Oh, I also had a question about Courtney Cox. Oh, my God. I love her. So, that bit, it was uh-huh. your birthday. It was my birthday. David said that you guys were going to a house that so, he was thinking about renting. Exactly. So, I got my makeup done that day. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning so i was like okay and i had like nothing to do that day it was my, it was my actual birthday so i said okay um i'm probably gonna like i was gonna have family over that night so i was getting ready like to help my mom and like to, to do all that and then david said hey uh we're thinking about throwing you like a big party i said oh my god like that's sick like in my head i already planned it i'm like oh my god like something crazy is gonna happen we're gonna do like you know like montage of like an entire big party Uh a house party like everyone's gonna be there it's gonna be so cool like and then we drove and drove and when we got there um i was actually like sitting in the car i was waiting and then um whenever he showed me the house i still didn't believe like i'm like oh my god like we're gonna do like a party here whenever i turned around and i saw corny cox behind me i'm not joking I couldn't breathe. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I imagine like somebody who you love so much and like watch their show. Like, even to this day, like I put on HBO Max and I literally watch Friends. Mm-hmm. Like, that's all. Like, that's I. I probably watched it a, so many times, like 30, 40 times. I know the script by heart. And uh, when I turned around and I saw that, I literally like I freaked out. I couldn't breathe, and I took a step back to like understand that it's her <laughs> and you happen to be wearing a friend's t-shirt i happen to wear a friend's t-shirt, which is nobody so encouraged weird. that like nobody hey, maybe you should put on your friend's you know shirt crazy? today before i left the house like um i was where i was gonna wear something else uh-huh. but then i took off that shirt i'm like you know what like this doesn't really match with what i'm wearing so i'm just gonna put the shirt on because it's more cuter and like and then i asked my friend because my friend was at my house and i was like hey do you think this is cute and she's like oh yeah yeah wear like that's a really cute outfit so i said okay and i wore that and i literally got out of the house <laughs> which is insane that i was wearing a friend shirt like i own so many friend stuff you didn't pick up on anything in the house that would make you think is this courtney cox's house no like there were Wait, like it was a, courtney a, cox's house that oh, you shot courtney cox's house yeah that they were walking oh, around that's where in. you shot it too? yeah yeah wow. so, at her house i went to her house that's crazy Look, no, no no i didn't because there was two people there was a guy and a girl and i thought that they were like the real tours uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i didn't know who they were or i thought that it was their house actually David said to me, like, it's those people's house. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, that's crazy. Wow. You know? Yeah. There wasn't, like, any friends memorabilia Nothing. around it, or, like, it, family pictures. It, or it, You know what it looked like? It just literally looked like a modern, regular house. Yeah. Like, nothing friends-related. Nothing at all. Like, if I did see it, I would just be like, oh, my God. Like, this person's a friends fanatic like me. <laughs> that's what I would have think. Like, I would have never thought in a million years, like, Courtney Cox is behind me. And then she told me. You know what she said to me? She's like, oh, my God. We opened, like, a bottle of champagne. She came and sat right no. next to me. Way. Yeah, she's like, let's celebrate. <gasps> oh, cool. Yeah, and like, I, I freaked out. I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so wait, now that you have Courtney Cox like scratched off your list, who's the next on the friends uh, list you know, that you want to It's meet? crazy, but the two people that I really want to meet a lot is Jennifer Aniston or Lisa Kudrow. Oh, yeah. I want to meet them so bad. And then like the guys, like obviously, like I love like Matthew Perry. I love like all those guys. Uh-huh. Matt LeBlanc, um, you know, David Schwimmer. Like I love them. But I feel like my number one will probably be Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. I know all their names by heart. Are you I laughing know. at that? It's just funny that you're like listing off every cast member's name too and make sure <laughs> like, hey guys, I know all the Friends cast members. I was hoping, I was hoping that in like six years, one, every year it would be like, uh, one year will be Courtney Cox and next year will be like Jennifer Aniston <laughs> next year would be Lisa and then we would move on to the guys Matt LeBlanc and then Matthew Perry and then <laughs> who do you like more Vardon or Jonah listen next question <laughs> <laughs> do you wait no but seriously Vardon or Jonah if you had to send one away to an island for the next 20 years oh, who would, would you send away myself <laughs> <laughs> just to get away from them. Why? What's a free vacation? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Do you like Cirque du Soleil? Yes. I think so. Oh my I God. love Cirque du Soleil. I, I went into Cirque du Soleil and I literally walked out 10 minutes in. Which show? 
uh it was like a show that they were having and i it was horrible why it was just so bad like the entire Is the one in la yeah there was one in la when you the, go, uh, yeah i went to the extreme sports one i don't know what it was called um me and my boyfriend went and we literally went out 10 minutes in, into it <laughs> and it was the most look it was the most like they say that you really need to like really be into a show or a movie or anything within the first 10 minutes i need you need to i need to, it needs to catch like yeah. my attention that's I think not you what need it is. to test your patience a little bit more. Stacey. No, it's not even about my patience. It's about it has about... everything to do with your patience. <laughs> what do you like about just it though? Just sit and enjoy the show. It's There's so art. many different acts. If it's like the ten minutes is just setting it up, you're gonna see some crazy stuff at a Cirque du Soleil show. You only gave it ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes, Susie. Ten, no, no, ten to twenty minutes. Ten to twenty. It was so boring. And people were literally walking out. It wasn't just me. I feel All like right. I'd walk out ten minutes at a Celine Dion concert <laughs> when I go to the Cirque du Soleil show. <laughs> Do you gamble? I hate gambling. Oh my god, you want to know something funny? Yeah. My mom loves to gamble. Like she loves gambling. So whenever we go to San Manuel, I'm not even joking. Like the sounds, like it doesn't make me mad. So I'll just like put my head on the machine and I'll sleep. And <laughs> there's been times a security guard literally escorted me out. Because <laughs> you just, just gamble yeah. yourself into a coma. Uh, yeah, and like I literally fall asleep because it's so boring to me. Gambling? It's so boring. <laughs> What, what game does your mom play? She just loves, like, she likes to play the slots, <laughs> and she likes to play poker. Okay. Yeah, so, like, she'll literally, like, she'll jump from one slot to another, and I hate it. Like, I hate slots with a passion. Like, I just think it's so boring. Like, you're just wasting your money. What, like, what is interesting to you, Susie? <laughs> I love going to arcades. Like, I like games. Like, I love games. I like making people laugh. I like making people happy. I like shopping. If I were to, if I were to, if I were to, why, why, like, I understand that, like, like, it's gambling. Um, like, you waste your money, but, like, what, it, like, you maybe you'll get it back. But when you go shopping, you know for sure you're going to get something. <laughs> 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 that's a okay that's a fair perspective i usually try to spend my earnings as fast as possible like when i'm in vegas though to like not treat it as oh the, i gained something like i made profit off of it like you i try to go buy a nice jacket with my earnings try to treat it like a right. actual arcade like right. a prize stand just so i don't get it in my brain that oh i can make money from this is gambling. not sustainable yes. it's like yeah. i just happen to now instead of leaving with extra cash you, you just you, leave with prizes. Right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> what was your first job? My first job, actually. So, funny story. Um, I always tell a lot of people this, that whenever you're going to school, make sure that you go all the way. Uh, it was really hard for me to graduate high school. So, I had to do uh, community service hours. So, I did community service hours at Hot Topic. <laughs> and Is that community service? It is. So, like, basically, I would work for them for free. And in return, what I would get is school credit. Okay. So it was like it was like an ROP program. Like there was like different stores. Like there was like for example like Tilly's can do it. Like uh for example like Wiener Central can do it. Like different stores can do it. Okay. They can participate in it. So I went to Hot Topic and I worked there for about two months. Like I actually like did ROP hours there. And in that two months, I sold so many clothes that like because I'm just a chatterbox. Uh -huh. I don't know if it was because I got along with the customers or they just wanted to buy just to get out of the store. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The, I don't really know the reason why, but all I know is that people, you know, people loved me, and my manager ended up like she ended up doing like an interview. I remember like it was like yesterday. I was literally folding clothes. It was like nine p.m. and she's like, "Oh, like what do you like about this job? Do you see yourself getting hired and stuff?" And I didn't realize I was almost done with my hours. Yeah. And she's like, "Oh, you're hired." I'm like, "What?" And she's like, "Yeah, would you like a job here?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I would." hell yeah i would love a job here she's like okay you start like um from now on like you're gonna get paid for like your service so i worked there for like two three years and i actually still have her on instagram like it was probably one of like the greatest experiences ever working at hot topic and then after after hot topic i went and i actually worked um i was a child care supervisor in a private school and i was like the teacher like i was like the after school teacher which is like cool, yeah. You like working with kids? I love children. Yeah, I, I feel love like you'd be great with kids. Which I age love group? kids. Uh, from three to nine years old. Oh wow! It was the greatest. I would literally learn, teach little kids like how to like spell their name, write their name, like out, like like earlier when you we were talking about patience. I do have patience. Like I I I used to sit my children around like my table and like I used to like teach them how to write their name. I like I would always like tell them, okay, like you guys have to do your homework. Everyone already knew Miss Susie. Like that's what they would call me, Miss Susie. Oh. <laughs> 
And so they were like, okay, Miss Susie, they would come in my classroom, they would sit down, they would do their homework, and then they knew after homework, I'm going to give them snack, and then after snack, they get to play. <laughs> so they already knew that. They knew my protocol. Have you tried these tactics out on Vardon? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't work on Vardon. <laughs> I've tried everything on Vardon. <laughs> well, Miss Susie... <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Did you have a good time? I had a great time. I feel like you're just trying to get rid of me. I'm talking too much. No, no, no. 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 To be honest, Susie, I think you are an incredible conversationalist. Thank and you, so you much. are really well spoken. And I knew that you're this, great. Thank you. I knew that this conversation would be a breeze. And then I, I also see on Instagram, you guys post pictures with people. Yeah. Are mm -hmm. we going to have like us posting pictures like on Instagram and stuff? Oh, yeah. If you want to. Because yeah. we don't have pictures together. So yeah, how are no, we gonna... you and me do not I yeah. think have a single photo of us, just you and me. Yeah, we don't have a picture. We can take the photos right after this. Yeah. That's great. Let's do okay, it. let's do it. All right, well, thanks for being here, Susie. Thank you. Guys, Thank you make for sure having you me. go follow Susie on Instagram, Instagram and TikTok. TikTok. And, and your YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel, and Susie Antonio. Career. And my music career, which is going to come soon. All right, Susie. <laughs> Damn, she's ready. an entrepreneur or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Susie. <laughs>